Hey, all my nerd geeks and dorks, and welcome to Radcast, the podcast where your nerd card is accepted. And with me today, as always, are my friends and co-hosts. We have Adam. Hello, everybody. And me, I'm Dave. We have a very special episode tonight, today, whenever you're watching this. <laughs> um, we have, um, as promised uh, in my little vlog that I did last week, we are... In fact, doing a tries episode. So, um, if you're listening to us, uh, if you've downloaded the show and you're listening to us, I'm afraid this isn't going to be as exciting. So, I urge people to visit radcast.com, R-A-D-D-C-A-S-T. Click on the podcast and uh, click on this podcast and actually watch this one because um, this is going to be very visual. Today, we are trying bugs. God. Um, have you ever eaten bugs before? Fuck no, dude. Like not even as a kid, you no, didn't like put, like, put uh, grasshoppers in your mouth or anything. Not like that? at all, dude. I had a cousin that uh, <laughs> we went out to a family reunion one time, and he like caught a bunch of grasshoppers and like ripped their heads off and put them in a cup and like put water in it and drank it. And that was like the closest I ever got to eating bugs was watching my cousin drink that water, and that was about it. Have you eaten any kind of weird or bizarre food before? No. No, I haven't. I can't say that I have. Um, quick little anecdote. I have eaten a uh, dog before. Awesome. Uh, this was uh, a long time ago when I was in high school. Um, a friend of mine, his uh, his mother was, we'll say, good friends with uh, another lady who uh, had been a world traveler and spoke Korean. Uh, were they sh- Scissor me timbers? Um, yes. Okay. But it wasn't... He didn't know about it. Oh, okay. Like, okay. the rest of us had put it together long before he did. And so, like, we, we tried to pull him aside one time. We're like, dude, dude. Uh, your mom's a lesbian. Yeah. <laughs> and and she's her. like... And, and he's like, no, she's not. And, and it was like, it was like, no, dude, we're not we're not doing this to, like, make fun of you or, or be funny. Your mom's a lesbian. That's right. And he's like, no, no, she's not. And I was like, that that chick that she's always hanging out with, that really butch... Aunt Bill? Yeah, you know, like... <laughs> she and your mom are an item. No, they're not. They're, I was like, they're, they both worked at the school we worked at. They were always hanging out together. They were always spending time at, at his house and stuff like that. I was like, dude, your, your mom's a lesbian. So... Anyway, that was. But uh, anyway, what she did was uh, they went to. Uh, we have little Korean sections of uh, Dallas, and she spoke Korean, and and uh, she went out of her way to get a hold of dog meat. Unbeknownst to us, so Ooh. we have this authentic uh, Korean uh, uh, lunch dinner type thing for his birthday, and uh, we're about done, and we're gonna go give him presents and stuff like that, and. Uh, they're at the table, and they said, before everybody can leave the table, everyone has to try one of these, and they hand out a plate, and there's these little square, hold on, this is like square, like, like a, a fried, kind of a breaded thing with this, this wad of meat in the center of it. Yeah. And, um, it was, it was like really disgusting looking. It was gray meat. Ugh. And, uh, anyway, she said, before anybody can leave the table, everybody's got to try one of these. We went especially out of our way to to make these these are these are very um you know this is hard to get a hold of and it's and it's very you know it, very important that you try this yeah so everybody at the table takes a bite and we're chewing it and i'm like damn this tastes like what a wet dog smells like <laughs> Is the, f- the uh. only thing that's going through my mind and everybody's kind of got that same look on their face like man this is nasty and uh, you know they they kind of wait for everybody to kind of chew and swallow, and then and then they bust out with like, "You guys just had dog." That would have been. And <sighs> half that table went outside to go throw up, like just. Bleh! And and uh, and of course I'm walking away with like I got a story out of this shit. So right. one of these days I'll get to use it. Today I get to use it, so uh, um, I would have been severely upset, man. I don't know. Like, there was a lot of people who were really pissed off, and I was, you know, and it was just like. I, in the U.S., we don't eat dogs. You know, we don't eat animals no. like that. But uh, you know, I understand other cultures and and other stuff like that. They 
Sometimes that's the meat they got, and I'm not saying, you know, I'm not hey, saying man, like you got to do what you got to do to survive. I uh, understand that, but like, you know, I've got an ample abundance to any sort of pretty type of meats that, that you want to here in the United States, and I yeah. don't eat dog. Yeah. Well, and and that's why it was sort of a well, we're gonna you know tell people that it's you know they didn't yeah. tell us anything about what it was. They just kind of. I'm know, actually kind of surprised that's legal to sell that. Um, I think it's not. I think oh, that's, okay. that's why yeah. it was such a. Uh, uh, like here, like uh, this is such a to do that you try this because this is a, I, and and I don't know if they had like one of those like moments where they're like you know how some people eat rare animals you know like I I don't know what yeah. it was but you know they they did that so it was like okay well whatever so uh, today we have a fair amount of uh, things to eat. There's fucking bugs. There, yeah. They're, we're gonna eat bugs because I can't feel. I don't feel bad about bugs. Yeah, you know, I don't feel like, bad uh, about I'm, bugs. I'm not gonna would... have like monkey meat or you know cat meat or something like that out here. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, I'll give you the uh, the the first of the pick here as far as our our, our green and our, our orange here. We have. Uh, what would you like? Would you like bacon and cheese or sour cream and onion? Let's start with the bacon and cheese. I'm glad you did that because that's the one I wanted to go with first. Yep. So what we're going to do, and I'll, I'll have pictures of this up because the camera doesn't pick this up very well. This is a box of um, what's called crickets. And we have these in two different flavors. We have bacon and cheese. And I'm glad you did that too because we're going to round. This is going to it's circular. Yeah. This show is going to be circular. Uh, anyway, uh, crickets. Would you like to know what's in crickets? No, not really. Well, that's too bad because uh, we're gonna we're gonna go over the ingredients here. I'm assuming it's crickets. Crickets, uh, hydrolyzed, hydrolyzed, sized. However, whatever yeah. you know how this goes. Uh, soy protein, dried cheddar slash blue cheese. Oh, well, that makes it better. Pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt enzymes, dried cheese, whey, partially hydro hydrogenated, hydrogenated, there we go, soybean, oil, salt, lactose, monosodium. Hydrogenated. Uh, uh, glutamate, dried onion, turmeric, turmeric? Probably uh, turmeric. Yep, yeah, turmeric. Extract. Let's see. Uh, disodium uh, and cyanate. I, you know, I read through this before, so I could actually say some of the shit, and I'm not doing any good at it. Uh, artificial flavors and colors. Yellow number six. Hey. E150A. Okay. Uh, less than two percent silicon dioxide. Anti-caking agent. Uh, on the back of this, and again, I've taken pictures, so you can see this on the uh, on the camera. Uh, they've actually got a, a little diagram. Like uh, you do with a cow. You got uh, the rump and the flank. You have a drumstick. The breast and the wings. And then uh, on the on the very right there, it says uh, the other green meat. Now uh, we're gonna we're gonna open these up. And I apologize about the plate there, folks, because uh, apparently none of us own just a plain white. Yeah. I'll hold I think that that's up. My great aunt's plate too. So, uh, so that's the bag with uh, what do we got two, four, six, probably about ten crickets in there with some legs flying around in the bottom. Yay! Now you haven't been curious about like any any bugs or anything like no, that. No, never have. I've never looked at a bug and been like, I want to put that in my mouth. Well, um, I'll admit, man, like, uh, you ever travel west, like, in, in, in a car? You go through, like, uh, New Mexico or uh, Arizona. You stop by those, like, uh, Native American-owned gas stations. And that put it right on the plate there for us. Ah, the, the moment of truth. I got mine picked out. You got, you got one you want? Yeah, I guess so. What's your biggest fear out of this? That I'm eating a cricket? I don't know, dude. I, I don't know what my biggest fear is. Uh, my biggest fear is that it just looks gross. It's unnatural. And, 
Yeah, it just my, looks uh, gross. My biggest fear is I'm going to like this. I'm going to be like, this shit's awesome. Well, I'm going to go for a small one, so I'm taking that dude right there. All right. Well, I'm going to go for broke here. You ready? As ready as they'll ever be, man. All right, here we go. Go down the hatch. It. Not getting a whole lot of bacon or cheese out of it. No. In fact, what that tastes a lot like is um, sunflower, sunflower seeds. Yeah. Let me go for another one here. They're not very good. No, they're not. And since you did a second, I shall do a second. God. I'll take that dude right there. He's small. Yeah. Dude, it just... The best thing to do is not look at it. <laughs> you just yeah, you just pop it in, man. And just do that. But. So, um, if you've ever had roasted uh, soy nuts, which I've had before, I'm gonna get some water here. They taste like roasted soy nuts. They're rather seem to flake up quite a bit and. Yeah, they they like break up. The yeah, they break up quite a bit. Um, texture wise, not as um, not as crunchy as a peanut. Again, I'm I'm thinking soy nuts because the soy nuts like flake off in your mouth like that. I mean, they taste almost almost exactly like. Um, I got cricket stale, pieces in my teeth. Stale uh, soy nuts. If you've ever had those, so if you want to try uh, these and you don't want to try these. You want to go for the uh, vegetable alternative? Go to your, uh, you know, your your local hippie market and go buy some soy nuts. Yes, I, I'll be honest. To me, those didn't have much of a flavor at all. No, they didn't. I I was expecting a more a bacon, bacon cheddar bacon flavor. Cheddar flavor. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. Go for. Now the thing that, that's the creepiest about it is um, they feel like fucking crickets. I just want to see something real fast. Oh, no, never mind. That one fell apart. Um, so when you pick them up, you know, that one was... No, not they're as... too dehydrated, I guess. Do you ever do the thing as a kid where you pull the legs off the grasshopper and you squeeze a leg and the leg kicks? No, no, I didn't do that. Yeah. Evidently, I was one twisted little bastard and fucked up some... Par apparently, man. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that is uh, the bacon cheddar. Uh, yep. We ain't done yet. Yeah, I know. I thought it's not bad enough that we eat just one box of crickets. Um, Where did you pick these up at, by the way? Uh, there's a new uh, candy store in Denton. I don't yeah. remember the name is of it. The one up there on the square next to yep. the, the comic book store? It sure is. Yep. Because I hang out at the comic book store. Yep. I've heard that uh, candy store is actually pretty badass. It's actually really cool. Uh, this other one that we're opening up here is a green box of uh, sour cream and onion crickets. Now, the crickets I'm, I'm okay with. Like, I'm... I'm but uh, what I was saying earlier is, like, if you drive... West and and usually it's past El Paso. If you go into like the New Mexico, Arizona territory, stuff like that, um, there's a lot of uh, Native American-owned uh, gas stations, and you know how they have like the cheap, you know, buy two packs for a dollar candy and stuff like that. Yeah. They also have a rack of um, different types of bugs to eat. So this is the... Uh, that's wow, the, those look a lot worse than the uh, bacon cheddar flavored ones. Yeah, at least the bacon cheddar ones are orange, so you know you're done with them. These uh, look like some frosty crickets. They look big. They do look big. I think I'm going to go for a full one here. Oh, he was full. Now he's just Holy pieces. Crap. Yeah. I'm gonna go for a bigger one. I'm gonna do this. Do this one. This one's got most of his body and his legs. I'm gonna go for this one. 
I'm going to look this fucker right in the eyes when I do it, too. Right. Oh, what the fuck was that? <laughs> um... Not much flavor to these. To me, those taste the same as the others. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, if you're going to go cricket eating... Uh, Just regular cricket flavor seems to do it. Yeah. Um, I don't really know if I could go for another, man. No, no, I'm not. Especially after that one where, <laughs> like... I thought I had it all nice and crunched up, and then all of a sudden something popped off, and then there was more, and I don't know what it was, and it kind of freaked me out just a little bit. Oh, wow. Um, now, uh, a little bit more on my history. I used to uh, survey food. I used to be the guy, one of those guys in the mall that you'd walk up to, and they'd be like, hey, would you like to take a survey? And you're like, really, please leave me the fuck alone. Oh, yeah. Uh, I would do that shit. So... Uh, uh, the way you cleanse your palate technically is that you take a uh, a saltine cracker yeah, and, and then take a, a little nibble of that and then you wash that down with water. Of course, we don't have any saltines right no. now. But, uh, we're drinking water to wash this down and cleanse, cleanse the palate. So, we have one more foodstuffs. If we can call it that. I think this is the one that I'm dreading the worst. This is the one I'm not really looking forward to. Uh, this is a box uh, from the same company. Uh, from the uh, the Hot Licks in Grover Beach, California. Their website is hotlicks.com, L-I-X, H-O-T-L-I-X. Uh, they do various bug-flavored uh, various edible bug things. They do uh, butterflies. This stuff's like kicking up on me, dude. These larvets are... Uh, this, this box calls it the original worm snack. Let me uh, read the back of the box here for you. <laughs> larvets, the original worm snacks with the annex. Uh, the top five reasons to enjoy larvettes. Number five. You'll give some people or you'll give people something new to say about California besides its state of fruits and nuts. Besides that it's a state of fruits and nuts. Yes. Uh, your entomologist friends will think that you've learned how to cook. Ha <laughs> ha. Funny. Oh. Three tastes like chicken will have a new meaning. No. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to drink a whole bottle of uh, mezcal to get the worm. All right. And number one, barbecue cheddar cheese and Mexican spice larvettes make great party food. <sighs> so far, this has been stomach churning and not very um, party in environment. No, not at all. I'm taking the bag out. Here's the bag of uh, larva. Oop. Had it upside down. Sorry about that. Put these bastards right in the center. There we go. Now, that's... That's some Indiana Jones shit right there. Yes, it is. This is the one I've not been looking forward no, to. No, not at all. I haven't been looking forward to any of them, but this one by far. The crickets least. I can handle. I just don't know about these little bastards. All right, well, um, there's little legs. That's cute. I didn't know they had legs. There's six little legs in the front. I just thought they were worms, dude. Um, they look like grub worms to me. Well, that's what they are. Pretty much yeah. just grub worms. Um, here's a little face. Well, I want to quit staring at it. I'm ready to throw it down the hatch, dude. All right. Here we go. Mm. 
That's not better that than bad. the crickets. It's better than the crickets, yeah. It doesn't have that weird bitter thing going on there. I'm gonna pick up a bigger one here. Um very nutty. They don't corn nuts. I got that one. That one tasted like carapace stuck in my teeth. <laughs> that one tasted like corn nuts. You go for another. No, that's all you, buddy. <laughs> um, they taste like corn nuts. Like seriously, I got like a piece of. Um, so if you like corn nuts and you want to freak your friends out, try some larvettes. Those are those are also bacon and cheddar flavor. I thought um, those were barbecue. Oh, those are barbecue. I'm sorry, those are barbecue. Maybe yeah, that one actually, I could taste the barbecue flavor on them, but to, yeah, I they're just, not very. As far as like the flavoring is concerned, to me, they're better than the uh, crickets. But it after getting the carapace or shell stuck in my teeth, that's just a bit much, dude. All right. Well, um, I uh, I wouldn't let us just do this without uh, being Something. able to wash this down with. Aren't you lucky that I got a uh, a bottle of bacon soda? Yes. What's it say on it? It says, "Y'all, y'all get your fixins. Bacon soda. This is Lester's fixins." Made in the USA with pure cane sugar. So at least it's got pure cane sugar in it. Uh, yeah. Dude. I don't know. And we're going to use your uh, Enterprise bottle opener to open this. Yes, I, I do own some Star Trek stuff. It's the only thing I own, Star Trek. The yeah, this one I'm not as dreading as much as what I was the bugs. Well, that just smells weird. I can't smell, but let me let me try. To I got smell one nostril working, so if you see in the fucking camera, I'm like, oh man, that smells like feet. Yeah, yeah, it smells bad. This honestly. Out of everything that we've tried, this has been the uh, the one I've feared the most. That one's been the one I've feared the least, because at least it's like something kind of normal, even though it is soda, and it's bacon flavored. Bugs just is too unnatural for me, man. Um, I took a picture of it. It's a, it's a light brown, like a very, um, kind of like a cream soda color. Yep. And um, it smells like feet. Yeah, it's, this one's gonna be hard. Yeah, it smells pretty bad. So let's do this. Three, one, two. Cheers. Three. God, that's disgusting. What the hell? Um, like. God, um, it's brown it's, sugar. It's definitely sweet, you know, yeah. but I don't. It's there's there's a lot of brown sugar, like you like you would prepare like a like with bacon. It has like a very musky taste, almost. Like I can't even say the smoky flavor, dude. It's like it's like vinegary. There's like a vinegar type of. Like not a not a not as severe as like other vinegar things are, but God, I don't know. It's I just did disgusting. a bad thing. I did the whole swish it around your mouth like wine, and that was just awful. That's seriously like this is horrible. Oh, that that right there actually might have been the one that flushed the toilet for me, dude. Like that might have caused evacuation. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure out the taste. Uh, the carbonation isn't bad. The carbonation's Ooh. like a normal soda. Um, the um, 
the overall taste of this is just absolutely disgusting. How somebody could, I mean, other than the whole like, oh, it's bacon soda. I have no, I uh, sure, I really, <sighs> really, really, truly hope that there's nobody out there that's all like, dude, I love bacon soda. That shit's so good. Because it tastes like baking ingredients that you haven't cooked yet. I don't even know what it fucking tastes like. Like I it, can't. Yeah, I can't. Like, place if you were it. to lick a fucking a musk ox butthole, that's probably what it would taste like. There's there's a sweet bit to it, which I'm assuming is like brown sugar. Then the aftertaste, I have no I have no reference point to give people because this is so. I need water. Yeah, I don't need. I, I can't even like. I can't even comment on what that tastes like because I have no idea what it tastes like. Because I've never tasted anything that fucking awful oh, before. That's that's bad. Yeah, dude. Like I said, that's that might be like I like I said. I seriously took it. And my second drink, I was like, okay. The first one, I didn't really taste it all that much, so I'll swish it around. Uh. Lester's fixins needs to do some more fixing to that fucking soda because that's. Just I think bad. it's all. I think it's all fixins, man. I think that is the fixins. What else in this? Let me see. Oh God, it's worse coming out than it is going in, man. There's there's no even bacon flavoring in this. So why do they call it bacon soda? It's, it says ingredients: carbonated water. Sugar, citric acid, sodium benzoate preservative, uh, caramel color, natural flavor, red forty. Well, I guess the, the natural, natural flavor, flavor is bacon, bacon. But like, dude, I've never tasted bacon that tasted that. Bacon is awesome. Bacon does not taste like shit. What the fuck, dude? That's just sorry, Lester. That you failed, man. Yep. Serving size, 12 ounces, 170 calories. Hey, there's zero fat in it, so if you want a healthy way of getting your bacon, there you go. This is not something to have with your pancakes and eggs in the morning. Definitely not, no. Uh, so, yeah. That's... um. Crickets, larvets, and bacon soda. <laughs> yep. <laughs> um, I'm kind of glad I got a cold, man. Yeah, it's pretty fucking horrible. The bacon soda, out of out of the uh, three things that we've tried, uh, what's the worst? The bacon, bacon soda. soda. Um, These guys look all sorts of bad and nasty, but their flavor and their whatever does not hold a candle to the nasty crap of that. Yeah, the bacon soda is just, oh man. Okay, so um, here's how I'm going to rank Maybe it's because it. we had bacon soda with the bugs. I... I I think I cleansed my palate beforehand. Uh, I know I did because I kept drinking quite a bit of water. So. Uh, so here's my ranking. As far as the best tasting of what we've had tonight, I'm going to go with the Larvettes. I'm going to go with the Larvettes also. I uh, I uh, was really dreading those, and they just taste like corn nuts. Yep. Um, immediately afterwards would be the Bacon Cheddar. Uh, crickets, and then the uh, and then the sour cream and onion crickets, and then definitely last would be the uh, bacon soda. Well, just to be oh. a little bit different, I'm gonna swap it up and say my number two was the sour cream and onion crickets, and then say the bacon cheddar crickets, and then of course the bacon soda is just fucking awful. But to me, the crickets, I couldn't really, just, couldn't really tell the difference in flavor. Like, yeah, I to mean, me, they both tasted the same. They taste so like they, they, old. They, they really just kind of tie, actually. But to, if I'm actually gonna assign a, uh, assign a number, I'll just, I'll just say sour cream and onion first, and then 
the bacon cheddar second. But, um, yeah, I think that's going to do it for, uh, for this show, folks. Um, yeah. Yep. Good night. Goodbye. We love you. And don't drink bacon flavored soda. Good night, Internet.